Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and consider liking this video if you like what we're doing here. Also check out my ECS and Amazon affiliate link down below. Getting on with today's video, I'm gonna be going over how you can fix your steering angle sensor. If it's miscalibrated or you did some suspension work or anything like that, you'll have the three trifecta lights on your dashboard that I'll show you in a minute. This is very common on any BMW and this applies to all BMWs because they all use steering angle sensors and they can become uncalibrated or miscalibrated um, due to doing suspension work after you get an alignment or just over time from driving sometimes they can um, have some issues and if this doesn't work and you're still getting an error chances are your steering angle sensor is bad so i'm going to show you what mine does and i'm going to show you guys how to fix it so right now i have the three trifecta lights and mine are all orange sometimes i believe you can have one of them can be red and that's something else that might be your abs pump or another issue but i'm going to show you how to fix your steering angle sensor if you have the trifecta so I'm now gonna show you guys how you can clear your ABS lights. So basically we're getting the trifecta on my dashboard, on my E46, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheel and we're gonna go from left side to right side. So lock to lock three times. So all the way left, lock, all the way right, lock, all the way left, All the way right, and then we're gonna do it one more time. All right, guys. So unfortunately, doing the the procedure that I showed, where you go from lock to lock with the steering wheel, didn't work. So we're gonna fire up Impa, and there is a category inside Impa, and that's actually what fixed the issue that I had. I did it off camera just to test, but make sure your steering wheel is completely straight. You have Impa, make sure pin seven and eight are bridged on your cable. If you guys do not know anything about Impa or how to install or anything that I'm talking about, I will have a link down below and something up in the cards showing you guys how to use Impa. But for people that do know what we're doing, or you can just follow along. We're going to click on the car that we have in this case, the E46, but this will apply to other cars. We're going to click chassis up here. Then we're going to click pick the ABS module that we have. So the E46 has a couple different ABS modules and we're gonna press, for me, I have the MK60, we're gonna press that. And then just press okay here. And then we're gonna click on routines right here. So that is shift and then F4. And then this window is gonna pop up. And this is the window that I was talking about. So it says over here, steering wheel must be completely centered. So we're gonna press F1, and again, my steering wheel is 100% centered. And we're gonna press F1, and we have this little message, initialization complete, and then we can click back. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to read that this worked, and you can also use this to find out if your steering angle sensor is out of whack and it's misaligned. So we're gonna pick our chassis again. So we have the E46, we're gonna go under chassis, and then we're gonna pick our ABS module, so in this case, the MK60. We're going to press OK. We're then going to press F5 for status, so read status. And then we're going to click read analog. And then we're going to click read DSC sensor, so F2. And right there we can see the steering angle sensor. And sometimes it may be like this when the wheel is straight. So if it's something like this where the wheel is straight, then it's not calibrated. But right now, if I put the wheel straight, it's hard to do because across, but we're at dead zero with the wheel strain. We can see all sorts of other awesome data, um, such as the steering offset um, and stuff like that. But it's really good because you can see that the steering angle sensor is set to zero, meaning we are dead straight and the car thinks it's dead straight. Now those lights were on because the car didn't think it was dead straight. We played around with the suspension and the alignment is now off on the car. So usually this is another indication that your alignment's off, that the sensor is going off for that reason saying that they're not in line. So I basically put the steering wheel back to its position and we recalibrate it through Impa, but you can also use this check to find out if it's, when the wheel is straight, let's say it says like two or three, and you know that it's not calibrated and you can go back and calibrate it showing the steps that I did. And now let me just turn on the car and show you that I no longer have the light. As you can see right now, the lights are no longer on. So the ABS issue is now fixed. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video showing you how to recalibrate your steering angle sensor. This should apply for any BMW, not just the E46. So if you guys are wondering how to do that, you can try doing the lock to lock and see what happens. I know Matt has had luck on his E60. He had some issues and that kind of fixed the issue. But in this case, my sensors needed to be recalibrated using IMPA, which is super easy to do. There are some other tools. You could use ISTA if you want, but I just showed IMPA. And if you guys don't know how to get IMPA or don't know what IMPA is, I have a whole video and I'll link that down below. That is all I have for this video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Also check out my Amazon and ECS affiliate link down below and look me up on Instagram for behind the scenes footage of my channel. That is all I have for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.